girl April with She Is Creations. So if you follow me on Instagram, you guys do these applique jackets for a company called I Am The Prize. That's where you can get these particular jackets from. But if you want a type of jacket with the same type of technique, then you can contact us at sheiscreations.com. So I just wanna come on here and show you right quick on how I apply applique with glitter. So if you do administer appliques on jackets when you embroider, you know that you have to have a cut file because you have to end up cutting the fabric, the twill out, and then you have to, you know, line it up once it does the tack, the tack stitch, and you have to line it up, right? And then you come back, you put the letters on there to cut out or whatever you cut out, and then it'll do the tack down and then the whatever type of satin stitch around it. But, 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 when you do the application, applique with glitter, it makes it so much easier. It's a whole time saver. And you, it's gonna change the game. You gonna want everybody applique to be glitter, but y'all know ain't no me around here wearing no applique with glitter on it. But for the ladies, it's a good idea. So what I'm going to do is, this is a jacket. So I gotta hoop the jacket. It's for a kid, but, so the jacket is for a kid. So right now I'm just hooping the jacket. So I got the jacket hooped. So now we're gonna take it over to the embroidery machine. So I got it hooped on my embroidery machine. So now it is doing the placement of the design that I am working on. Okay, so this is just glitter with no backing. So whatever type of glitter you get, it's okay. It has no backing on it, right? And then you take this, which I got from the craft store. It's spray adhesive, but it's tempering. So it doesn't leave a residue. And you just wanna lightly spray it. You'll see the little, can you see? I don't know, some white little whites, but there, there it goes. On the back, that helps it stay in place. So you don't need that much. So you don't need that much, and then I'm gonna take it over because I think my tack down stitch is finished. So my tack down stitch is finished, so you don't have to remove it. Only thing you're gonna do is slide it over the entire, well, I'm not. All thing you're gonna do is slide it over the entire. So I just make sure that there's no gaps, that everything covers, no backing, that everything is everything, covering what it needs to cover. And I rub it in. Rub it in, not too much. And then, I go back. So now it's doing the final stitch. Now it's doing the final stitch. All right, so I am back. Let y'all see me a little bit. Okay, so I am back. Yeah, it is finished. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to unhoop it. that to the side and it's just vinyl and so what I'm going to do is tear it away
And so for the pieces in between, I just go get a tool. So you just wanna make sure you be careful so you don't damage the jacket. You just basically lifting it up. Cause remember it's, it's actually, it's heat transfer. So it's really not stuck to the jacket. It's stitched down. You're still gonna heat it up because it is heat transfer vinyl and that's gonna seal your project cause you don't want it to come apart when they wash it, you know what I mean? And so after I clean it up and get all the pieces of vinyl from in between all of these little crevices, of course, I go get the thread, I mean the scissors, and cut. So all the like excess string, just wanna snip it off. You know, what you would do with regular. Okay, so you have it. I am surprised. So now I'm going to heat press it. So this is the jacket. So cute. And then I'm gonna heat press it and it's gonna be good to go. That is how you do applique. That is how you do applique with heat transfer. Okay, so I'm back from the heat press. Kind of look the same, but it's a little flat. So it is good to go. This is your custom applique jacket with glitter, heat transfer vinyl, glitter HTV. You can see I am the prize. Okay, I am just wrapping up the jacket so I can get ready to ship it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to apply heat transfer vinyl as an applique. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment below if you want to see any other type of videos. See